This is the first of three types of percent problems we'll be solving, and we'll solve these using the percent equation. When using the percent equation, the word is represents an equal sign, of represents multiplication, and what or what number represents the unknown, which we'll represent using a variable. And the last thing to remember is if we have the percentage, we want to express it as a decimal. So to determine what is 24% of 325 by using a percent equation, the word what tells us to write the variable, is represents the equal sign, then we'll write 24% as a decimal, which is 0 0.24, of means multiply, and then 325. And now we want to solve this equation for x, and this is the most basic type of equation because notice how the variable is already isolated. So x is equal to this product here. So now we'll go to the calculator. We'll type in 0 0.24 times 325. So x is equal to 78. Now I think it's important that we take a look at this question one more time. We're saying x is 78. So we're saying that 78 is 24% of 325, which does seem like a reasonable answer. Now, as I mentioned before, we'll be solving three types of percent problems using the percent equation, but then I'll also have videos that will show how to solve the same three problems using the percent proportion as well.